You have reached your destination. Yep. So in the autumn of 2016, I bought myself this 1958 MGA. Um, got it from a guy in Central Virginia, nice gentleman, who had had this car for quite a long time, you know, since it, uh, since he was probably a teenager. Um, body was in good shape. Obviously, it had some rust. You can see some uh, some surface rust there. Um, I'm looking at a uh, wire wheel there in the trunk. Had some uh, had some issues, but never able to use that uh, that uh, wheel again. Surface rust there. Nothing I couldn't take care of. Uh, trunk seemed to be in pretty good shape. I didn't see a lot of surface rust or rust there. I was wrong. Uh, later on, <clears throat> uh, gas tank was I thought okay, and uh, you know most of the body, as you can see here, was okay. Uh, tail lights were all right. Interior wasn't too awfully bad. The door gaps and the fender gaps and everything else weren't in too bad of a shape either. That interior <laughs> was was custom. You can see the. Uh, the door panels there looked uh, interesting. You know, something Ron Jeremy might have shot a, uh, a scene on. And uh, what looked like a pretty, pretty open and pretty, pretty complete car. Pretty. Um, I've since gone through a lot of work on this car and, uh, you know, done a lot of work to it. Uh, this movie here, this uh, this first recap, is meant as a uh, as a recap. I've been grouping a lot of my videos together in major you know major groupings um, tear down this fender that fender frame and on and on and I thought I'd offer these as a uh, as a recap to some of the videos I'm doing I'm on a downtime at work I'm on vacation and uh, there you go so <clears throat> door card there uh, I, I, I gather from a, uh, a person who knew better that the right and left seats here were swapped um, yeah Smith's gauges uh, not too bad. <laughs> I'm laughing now. Not too bad of a body. Um, once I start pulling it apart, I had some serious issues I found. But the white paint that you're looking at was uh, was an after spray, aftermarket spray. Uh, the original car was red. When I started pulling the paint off and started to uh, to really tear into it, you know, I had uh, I, I I found reds and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, there's the there's the original engine. 1500 cc's original uh, everything uh, even the tires were dated from 1958 once I started to really pull into it um, a lot of surface rust there <laughs> a lot of surface rust there and uh, yeah fender didn't look too bad although what you're looking at what looks like a gap here on the video was a lot of leaves and you know detritus from uh, being left out for so long grill didn't look too bad as you can see I think there's a reflection of me in the darn thing. Uh, the bumpers were structurally okay but rusty as you can see and uh, yeah it has seen better days. I thought this would have been a pretty easy and pretty quick restoration you know full body off with a lot of stuff but once they started tearing into it not so much. The uh, the seals were more or less shot too. Um, pretty much everything that I've done to the car so far has come at a price. I have to buy seals plus paint plus everything. Um, structurally, this uh, this uh, deck lid didn't look too bad. It was in pretty good shape. Uh, 
off the right there. There's there. Yeah, there's my Fiat. Um, and in the center of my <laughs> excuse me, a center of my garage there were all kinds of parts that came with the car. Some of which I've sold, some of which I tossed out, some of which I out and out gave away. Um, and there's my nice pristine garage floor that I've since really screwed up with you know, paint works and everything else. Extra transmission, extra heads, a door card that I don't recognize. Uh, you can see my um, door, my window panels there. Extra radiator. Had some Porsche bits. That steering wheel is a Porsche steering wheel. I sifted through all of this and I got rid of a lot of stuff. And like I said, there's extra top there. Gave away a lot of other stuff. There's the engine bay again. 1500 cc. Original engine. Um, when I bought the car, I was told that it turned over but just didn't fire. I since found out that it, it was seized. Uh, some of the paint that you could see had uh, started to uh, come off. Uh, whoever prepped it for the white paint job didn't do a great job. And some of it came off with the engine uh, heat there. And I dorked up the uh, camera angle here. This is the underside of the car. I was looking for a lot of rust and I didn't see it until I pulled the body off and then I found an enormous amount of rust. And this thing had been stored in a field for quite some time. You can kind of tell with uh, the the, <clears throat> the grass and uh, spider webs and some other stuff. That's the rear end of the car, uh, right side, rear leaf springs. Leaf springs are in pretty bad shape in terms of rust. I pulled those apart, de-rustified them, and put them all back together. Um, I didn't find a lot of structural rust. I was hunting for uh, frame rust that I just didn't see again until I pull the body off. And I'm looking at a lot of, uh, of stuff on my gas tank. I thought the gas tank was actually pretty good to go until I took it down and put a, 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 a scope into it. It was more or less filled with sand and junk and I couldn't use it. Um, again, you're looking at a lot of, of, uh, of surface rust that really wasn't too bad on first inspection. Um, the rear end, the pumpkin was rusty, but you know that took a couple days to renovate and pull apart and, and refinish and paint and everything else, so that wasn't too bad. Um, the gas tank was unsalvageable. Uh, what I didn't know is at some point in time this car had been hit in the left rear quarter, and you'll see some evidence of that. Um, I'm looking at other, another bad camera angle here, but there's the uh, drive shaft, I think, in the center floorboards, one of the two, and there's floorboards there, but, yeah, uh, floorboards weren't in too bad shape, um, and there's the front part of the car, my little caster wheels, there's the steering rack, um, I had to replace the uh, the bellows on that, the uh, accordion-like uh, things there, those, uh, those seals, and fill it up with uh, hydraulic oil, and you can see at some point somebody had tried to pull the thing around with a, uh, a rope, <clears throat> I didn't do that, but um, and again, you can see evidence of it sitting for quite some time, quite some time. Um, some grass and some st and cobwebs and all kinds of other junk like that. But um, again, in all, I wasn't too displeased <clears throat> with the uh, uh, with the purchase. I, I, I put a fair price price for it. A frames are rusty. There's the uh, oil pan, rusty, very uh, very oily rather. Another rusty A frame that I pulled apart. I stripped that sucker and on and on and on. Did a lot of work to that thing. And there is the uh, the undercarriage of the front air dam portion, the uh, semi curved portion that you'd be under if you're right in front of the uh, um, the car. Not in great shape. I think at some point there was some <clears throat> front end damage as well on this poor sucker, and. Uh, didn't fare well. Some of uh, some of the 
bits have been filling with Bondo. I, uh, I, I couldn't find out. Vent up uh, um, Ford Air Dam. Yeah. And I'm looking at Bondo. That's, that's what you're looking at here, that it kind of just spilled over and never got uh, ground down. At this point in my videos, I usually just show some pictures and uh, turn off the uh, the audio. This is what you look at, or this is what I was looking at when I bought the car. All the extra stuff that came with it: extra block, extra head, extra transmission. Uh, there's the car as it was with the uh, hardtop on it. it. Looked nice. You know, uh, no one would know that it had some some uh, some damage to it, and it was a worthy buy. Uh, I tied the hardtop to the uh, to the bumpers, and I had basically paid somebody to transport it from Virginia to where I live here. Um, tonneau cover, it's pretty sexy. Yep, matches everything else with the uh, interior. I still have that thing. I might just sell it. Uh, that came on the uh, on the hood there. <laughs> Looked nice. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's the uh, the grill for the front end, and there's the car as it was being delivered to me at my house. Yeah, in the garage. Um, a lot of mud on the back window there that uh, that uh, cleaned off actually. <laughs> And there's my Fiat, my uh, garage mate for the MG. He read that thing. All the spare parts. Lots of spare parts with this thing. There's the engine again. I gotta do some before and after shots of this thing. Engine bay before and engine bay now. Um, trunk was filled with all kinds of parts too. Flywheel there. Um, see when this thing was last registered it was 1979. Or somewhere thereabouts. Wheels were okay. Tires were shot. There's the gas tank uh, filler. Pretty bad shape. Nice, uh, nice rear lights. Still in good shape. Another one there. I may buy the chrome bits or the uh, or such, but uh, I since replaced that. And the uh, front uh, front bay cowling. Oh yeah, it's a dog. Rolls rolled as pug. Uh, my constant helper is my cat. Tunnel cover again. And you can see the lack of uh, heater control panel. That silver thing in the center was an ashtray, of all things. So I have that thing. Fiat again. The cat in front of it. Door panels. <clears throat> I still have those door panels. They're up in my attic. I need to sell them or get rid of them. Not a bad looking car from a uh, from a distance. And <clears throat> all the spare stuff and cranks and transmissions and heads and clutch plates and all kinds of stuff. Here's my infamous Jack, Jack of Ultimate Safety. <laughs> Man, there's my trunk, a uh, hole in the trunk actually. Didn't know why, but I fixed that. I would later find out it was because of some accident damage. Now the yellowing there comes from, I think it was glue. There was some uh, some carpeting that was attached to this at uh, at one point. It was a bitch to get out. Again, some surface rust there. Nothing really too bad. And the interior there, <clears throat> also not not uh, not too bad, or so I thought. Um, I couldn't take up those floorboards by myself, and I sure as hell couldn't get to the nuts. I took them out with a claw hammer, actually. I hate to say it. It was inside of my uh, my dash. You can see some red there on the steering column where it was repainted at one point. And the ashtray that I had mentioned. Um, I, I don't know what that is. That's my frame. <clears throat> That's my frame. Uh, that's where the body met the frame in some spots. Again, there's that hole in the trunk. And the state of my frame with the floorboards out. Using a claw hammer. <clears throat> so stay tuned. Up next will be very likely the uh, the teardown of the car. I've got three or four or five 
distinct videos to kind of truncate into one, hopefully in 15 minutes or less. And thank you for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to.